Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. that we dream of as MMA fans. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Throws the right hand there. They're certainly getting after it early. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big kick lands. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Watch knees to the body. Good stick. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful 
beautiful combination of strikes there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. And both guys really throwing with authority. There's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big head kick land. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Real quick leg kick. Nice one, two there. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he hurt him. That was a jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big punch lands through the middle. Liver kick. Oh, big head kick lands. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Right hook there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Trying to find a one for that right hand. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Joy gets lit up by that straight punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That's a big strike right there. What a body kick. Beautiful straight counter. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, we'll see if he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw his full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give us the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Nice kick. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Great punch landing with so much power. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Back and forth we go. Just misses there with the left. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Nice punch lands over the top. Choi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Missed with that right hand. Nice defense there, huge block. Lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Oh, a huge block there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Way to hide that leg kick. What a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Clean left punch followed by the right. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Goes back to that left kick once again. into that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Blocks the shot. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Back and forth we go here. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, 
if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High Ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Out of range with that kick attempt. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big punch land. Ooh. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good punch, Lance. Nice head kick. Block that kick to the body. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Missed with that attempt. Oh, strong punch there by Chor. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Nice leg kick lands. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Choi's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Nice punch lands over the top. Real sneak by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Big head kick lands. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Short. Gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, counters with an overhand left. He stuck that one. Just misses with the punch by Chor. Oh, 
Well, you've got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. You've got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you've got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, nice right hand coming. Big body kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Beautiful punch. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick, too. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. He blocks the punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighters. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Choi's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big head kick land. Oh, nice straight punch there by Choi. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. The Korean Superboy going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Good punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Look at a worker at trying to shut the liver down. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Nice counter jab up top by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful body kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Kick to the body by Lee. Nice punch lands. Checks that leg kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Stances here. Oh, that left thigh now really starting to swell. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Nice job by the veteran there to counter 
Lesnar with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Lee. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Shore. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Big kick land. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> the Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Chor. Final seconds of round four. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round getting underway here. And both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice counter shot there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Well placed knee to the body. What a punch. Oh, he missed with that right hand. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice kick. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Hands high, hands high. Unable to land the head kick there. Nice head kick. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he got hurt bad. That kick blocked by Chor. Beautiful strike. Three minutes now to go in this one. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Oh, big head kick. Oh, he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. Well, a case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Troy gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Lands the right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. There's no tell on that leg kick. No, 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 no. 
90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Nice strike. Just misses with the jab there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Under one minute remains in round five. Punches drop. Big kick. What a tricky head kick. Liver kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds remain in the round. Nice punch here. Throwing that jab, no good. What a fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, they go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the 